Ah, yeah, this guy has some fight in him. Woo Acrobatics. <laughs> Welcome everyone to Realistic Fishing. Today I caught some cracking trout. I want to show you those trout as well as give you some tips on where you can go trout fishing in the New England area. I've just finished work and I thought why not go trout fishing. So we're here at the top of the McIntyre River. I'm um, just going to try and yeah have an afternoon of trout fishing. I'm, I was on my way home uh, and I put my rod in the car and I can see some some bubbles up, uh, some, some fish coming to the surface at the moment. So hopefully they're biting. Let's see, let's see. All right, let's see what the first cast brings. I did see some fish moving up here. Let's see if they want to take my sip of Ibrax gold. Mm, I've got a bit of weed. That's about it. There's fish busting up down here. Come on, come on. I just keep, keep seeing to get weed and stuff. Oh yes, got one, got one, got one. Stay on, stay on buddy. Oh, he's swimming in his... Oh, it's a nice fish too. Oh, it's a nice fish. Oh. Oh, yes. That's not a bad trout. Come on. Look at that, beautiful trout. Beautiful trout. I'll just get my pliers out. So I can get him back in the water pretty quick. There he goes. Now normally when I'm trout fishing, I like to make my way up river because the fisher have their heads upstream. That time I caught that trout casting downstream, uh, just because I saw a trout come to the surface and, and, and kind of blow up. Um, so I saw the, it was kind of like sight fishing <laughs> for trout, but normally, uh, you know, they're very, there's fish that's very scared. So you want to walk upstream uh, behind the fish and cast your, your, your lure, you know, towards the blow. Oh, there's blobs all the way up here. I'm going to try and get one again. Try and get one. At the moment, I'm just seeing them come up and I'm just casting to where they are. Um, yeah, just here. Just saw one come up just here. They're everywhere at the moment. Just there. Oh yes, got one. Got another one. Oh. Got another one. Second fish. Oh, he's not a bad fish either. Another nice fish. Another beautiful fish. I'm gonna wet my hand before I grab him. Okay, I've wet my, wet my hand. I'll pick him up. And grab him. Now these are slippery fish. Very slippery fish. I'm just gonna grab my pliers. Another beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. This is fun trout fishing. Look at that beautiful fish. Let me just get my pliers here. Jeez. There we go. Back in the water. Quick. He's off swimming. You beauty. This morning I was here and I got nothing. Absolutely nothing. Not even a hit. Couldn't see a fish at all. Now I'm just seeing them blow up everywhere. And yeah, wow, what fun. So much fun. Tell you what guys, New England trout fishing. It's the biz. It's the shiz. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is so much fun. So, where can you catch trout in New England? So I'm fishing at the top of the McIntyre River. Uh, just a beautiful spot to be fishing at the moment. Uh, so that's one spot you can fish in the New England area. Another spot is uh, around Gyra. Now there's a few, uh, there's a few spots around Gyra, a few creeks. One of them is Laura Creek. So if you just want to Google search Laura Creek and George's Creek, Laura Creek and George's Creek, the access to them is uh, you have to do a bit of research in order to try and access them. Uh, also around Ben Loman, which is uh, north of Gyra, uh, there's a few creeks there. I tried one this afternoon, didn't get anything, but I know there is trout there. 
Um, again, it might be the time of day. Oh, I couldn't get any. Um, also, around Black Mountain, there's a few, uh, few creeks around Black Mountain. There's also some dams you can actually go and pay. Uh, at Black Mountain, there's a, there's a, a trout farm. Uh, you can go and pay 20 bucks and just go and guarantee to catch a fish, which is really good fun. Uh, also around Armadale area, I'm not really sure about Armadale area, area where exactly the trout are. Um, but yeah, depending on where you are, just do your research. Now, the best way, let me tell you, the best way to find wherever you are in the New England, the best way to find where trout fishing is, is talk to the locals. Go to the fishing shops, ask them. Uh, go to a trout farm and actually ask them, is there any creeks around where it is good trout fishing? Uh, go to, um, I don't know, just, just local fishermen. You, you, you meet, meet your neighbours, just start talking about fishing and you, you, you meet people and uh, they tell you where to go. But there's my tips for the New England area. And uh, yeah, keep smashing the trout guys, because I'm going to keep smashing them, see if I can get one more. One more before the sun goes down. I think I'll get five more before the sun goes down. Let's get him, let's get him. Oh, oh yeah, got him. Got him. Oh man, what a day to be trout fishing. Oh, he's running now. Far out, this guy has some fight in him. Acrobatics, <laughs> double backflip there. I think I'll give you 10 points, mate, for that. Oh, what are you gonna do now? What's your trick? Oh, better get him in. This trout, he's going hard. All of these trout have been big fish. Well, not big, but just, well, pretty big, pretty big, I would say. Oh, he's a, he's a nice trout. Very nice rainbow. All these trout here are rainbow. I'm pretty sure there's no brown the top of the McIntyre. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, yeah, let me just show you this cracking fish. Oh, come on, mate. Look at that. Absolute cracker. All these trout have been 35, 40 centimetres. Um, yeah, and his is, I've just got one barb in him, so I'm just going to let him off. There we go. You beauty, this is so much fun. They all been big fish. Just cracking fish, well not like a giant, but just fat fish. Wow. Top of the McIntyre River. Um, give it a go. You've got to be careful, you can't go too much otherwise you're on people's property, but um, yeah. Let me show you what lure I'm using. Let me show you what lure I'm using. I'll turn you back around so you can look at this lure. Um, this is just a, it's called a Blue Fox Super Vibrax number two. Uh, in a gold edition. I was using the silver and the bronze this morning, got nothing, but I don't know if the lure has anything to it, more to do with the time of day. It's really cooled down. Um, on my way to work, nothing. On the way home from work, wow, they are going off these fish. So much fun. So much fun. So yeah, just walking up again. I'll just walk up and walk back. Oh, I just saw a blow up over there. Right, this is so fun. I'm just seeing them blow up and I'm just casting towards where I see them blow up. This is so much fun. Oh, I just had a hit. Just had a hit. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna cast back there again. This is unorthodox trout fishing, this is. Right here, not what I normally do. But I'm just seeing them come up. I don't know why I keep seeing them come up. They're just feeding like crazy or something. And I'm just throwing to where I see them blow up. This is fantastic. I just saw another blow up over here. If I can get there quick enough. Get my rod out there. Get my line out there. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, I just had a hit. Just had another hit. Oh, two hits right there. Right there, I'm going to cast back again. Oh. Go one more here, then I'll keep moving up. He must have moved on, this fish. Oh, I just saw a wake behind it. Oh. Oh, he just hit it and let go. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh, no. Yeah, still got him, still got him. Oh, don't swim in there, buddy. Oh, this fish. Oh, jeez. This guy is going nuts. Oh, what are you doing? So, calm down, mate, calm down. All of these fish are cracker fish. Cracking size fish. All right. All right. 
I think it's a bit more calm. Look at that. Look at the size of that fish. Look at him. Oh, oh, just fat fish. Absolute fat fish. All right, let me get my pliers. Oh. There we go. He's off. There he is, just there. Look, he's just sitting there. Hey, mate. Oi, oi. There you go. <laughs> yes. So at the moment, I'm just throwing out all rules. Oh, I'm getting hit. Oh, I'm getting hit. Throwing out all rules because the, the trout are just going nuts. Uh, you know, again, I, I want to emphasize that normally you want to walk upstream because the fish have their head upstream and trout are fish that normally spook really easy. Uh, and you want to come up behind them and kind of ambush them. But I'm just breaking all the rules at the moment because these trout are just going nuts at the moment. Um, and I just know they're just chock-a-blocks in here feeding. Uh, and they don't really care about uh, that I'm here. Um, which is quite rare. Well, yeah, I would say rare. Um, but yeah, this is my third cast in this area. I got hit like two times then, but they just didn't grab my lure. Let's see if third time lucky. I'll just keep casting here. And uh, no doubt... Trout will smash it, no doubt, no doubt. Fourth cast. So much fun. So much fun at the moment, so much fun. Ooh. Oh, had it. yeah, got him, got him. Oh, fourth cast, there you go. I knew it. Beautiful fish, absolutely beautiful fish. Oh, I think uh, it's starting to get a bit dark. I need to get back and feed the cats and feed my beautiful wife <laughs> but uh try the new england for trout fishing it's open trout season at the moment do your research um don't be discouraged maybe book book a few uh, a few days just to um you know just to try a few different spots and yeah give trout fishing a go because uh these things are so much fun to catch so much fun to catch let me let him off i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it was helpful for you as well uh, don't forget to subscribe see this round circle right here it's somewhere here or is it over here i'm not sure but if you hover your mouse over it it says subscribe if you would like to uh, if you enjoyed the video uh, subscribe if you want more content like this subscribe and, and give it a like oh i'm just over the moon i'm so excited anyways i'll see you next video bye